Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have made a video for this channel and I explained that to you guys in the last video here, but I've been doing a lot of videos for my Millennial Cruiser channel. There are currently eight vacation vlogs up if you guys are interested. Um, and I'm working on one more and then there will be a GoPro video going up. So I've been really, really busy. We got back from vacation and I immediately started making that content and we've been so busy in our normal life too. So it's been really hectic and I'm finally getting the chance today to sit down and film this video. So as you guys probably see from the title, yes, while I was on vacation, in Disney World, Brandon proposed to me and there is a vlog of it um, and we have photos and everything that I'm gonna put in here. But um, I thought today it would be fun to tell you guys the story of how he proposed because it's a pretty good one and I can tell it from both sides now because I know more about like how it all went down. But um, at the end, I will give you guys a shot of my ring so you guys can see it and I'll tell you guys about content that I'm planning to make in the future. So uh, I'm really excited. I can't believe I'm sitting down to tell you guys this story. Um, so let's get into it. So I won't lie, I did kind of have a hunch that a proposal might be coming just because of how long Brandon and I have been together. And we're also really open about talking about marriage and things. And we both knew that we would be getting married at some point. We both know that we're the right people for each other. So um, I knew that it was coming eventually and over the past like year or so, Brandon has taken me to look at rings twice. So um, for some people that might sound really weird, like I've told people before that yeah, I kind of picked out my ring um, and they thought that that was kind of weird, but Brandon basically told me this is a really important purchase, this is one of the most important things that I'm going to purchase in my life and I want to make sure that you love it and he knows I'm a very specific type A person, so he thought it would be really beneficial to bring me along to the store to kind of just get a vibe for like what I like. Maybe not pick out this specific ring, but he basically just said to me, you know, I wanna know what you like. I wanna know the styles you like. I wanna see like what rings look like on your hand. And I really appreciate that. So I don't think it's weird at all, and I was totally cool with going to the jewelry store and trying on engagement rings. Um, so we started doing that like a year ago, or maybe it was more than a year ago, but we started doing it for real, like a year ago, where we actually had a consultant and she recorded what I liked in like a, a log thing in their system, because um, we had the store picked out that we wanted. About two months before our vacation, I had been talking about how I really kind of liked solitaire rings now, um, before it had been like the halo style. and. So Brandon said, do you want to go again and just maybe try on some different styles again just to see if your taste has changed because it's been a year. And so I said, okay. So we went again to um, the same jewelry store and I ended up seeing this one ring that I fell in love with in the store. They had it, like they put it on my hand and I just was like, wow, this is my ring. Brandon actually had me walk away, which was like the first time he's ever done this. He had me walk away from the him and the consultant and um, I didn't want to like overhear anything so I actually like walked away and he talked to her for a few minutes and then we left. So I had this weird hunch that something was going to happen soon because he had never talked to a consultant like and had me walk away before and also I knew our vacation was coming up and Disney is his favorite place um, like ever on earth. So it made sense that he would be proposing in Disney, so I had a hunch, but I wasn't entirely sure. I wasn't gonna go like do any digging and try and figure it out because I still wanted it to be a surprise. So I'm gonna first tell you guys the backstory of what actually ended up happening. So basically, after we had gone to the jewelry store the two months before um, the engagement, he had asked them how long it would take to order in a ring in my size and they told him three weeks. So two days after that, he had gone in and purchased the ring and ordered it in my size. And they told him it will be in in three weeks, we'll give you a call. Like four or five weeks went by and he didn't hear anything. Um, and we were now, um, it was like the Saturday before we were leaving for vacation. And I had no idea any of this was going on, of course, but apparently he called the store and said, hey, I think you guys forgot to call me. I ordered a ring like 
almost six weeks ago now and I haven't heard anything, what's going on? And they come back on the phone and said, oh yeah, by the way, that ring is actually back ordered and it won't be in until April. He said he was so upset, he just hung up the phone. Like he didn't even say anything, he just hung up and said that he had like just a moment of pure panic of like, what am I gonna do? Um, and what he ended up doing was he went into the store the Monday before we left, we left on a Thursday. He told them what had happened, that the ring wasn't in. He was really upset because he had been told by several people it would take three weeks and they had never notified him it was back ordered. It was paid for, so he owned it and was not happy. And what they ha had to do was actually give him the display ring, which was the one I had tried on in the store. And it actually um, was like three or four sizes too big for me, so they had to put a sizer on it. And because he had purchased the ring already, we basically owned it. And if something happened to it, we owned it. So they told him, you know, like, be very careful, like, bring it back. And when you get back from vacation, you know, hopefully her ring will be in. Um, they were estimating April, so they weren't sure. And it was just like a huge mess. But he ended up getting the ring. And he and I, like, left on vacation that Thursday. When we were, like, packing, I noticed, you know, he didn't really want me doing his packing for him. Um, he did a lot of the packing himself and um, he told me that he hid the ring box in his socks, like he rolled it up in his socks so that I would never think to look there, like I would never have touched his socks. So we went on our vacation, we were on our cruise first and I at first thought he might propose at Coco Cay because we had a beach bed and we were kind of alone on this beach and it was kind of just dead quiet and like a perfect setting. but. That didn't happen, so I thought, okay, well, if it is going to happen, it's gonna happen at Disney, and if it doesn't happen, that's okay too. I knew that, like, the gig was up. I knew something was up, but I also had come to terms with myself, like, you know, you're on vacation, enjoy it, put it out of your mind. And I actually really did put it out of my mind for most of the vacation. Um, and on the day we were going to Magic Kingdom, it was the second full day we had in Disney. Um, I wasn't even really nervous. I just put it out of my mind and I thought, you know, if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen today. We were going to um, be our guest, Beauty and the Beast Castle that night for dinner. So I thought maybe it might happen there. I thought maybe it might happen like at the fireworks um, that evening, but I wasn't expecting it like 100%. So I just, I was in, I think a really good mindset that day. We went to change for dinner. We both changed into like nicer clothes for dinner and we went back to the park because we had left halfway through the day to do that. And um, apparently while we were going through security, the guard um, found the ring in Brandon's bag and I was luckily like two security people away. So I didn't even notice. Um, I did look back at one point and I saw the guard laughing with Brandon. So I thought, you know, did he find something? But I didn't actually see anything happen. So um, I texted one of my friends, like, I'm freaking out. I think the guard just found something in Brandon's bag. I think he might've just found the ring. And my friend from back home, she actually knew this was gonna happen. Like her and her husband were totally in on this. Like they knew all of what was happening. So she told me her anxiety was just like pumping. Brandon's original plan was to propose to me before our dinner. Um, but we were running late. So we went to our dinner, we had dinner, it was great. Um, and then after dinner, he suggested we go over to try and get on Buzz Lightyear, which was towards the front of the park. So we're heading more towards the castle. And he was like, let's walk through the castle. And I was like, okay. So we walked through the castle and we're in front of the castle and I decided I wanted a picture of my rose gold Keds with the castle. So I had him like doing that and then he was like, well, why don't we just get a picture with the photographer together? We haven't done that yet. And right then I knew something was up because he had never suggested we get pictures taken with anybody. Like he would, he's not a picture person. He didn't want to do that like ever. So I was like, mm, okay. So we got in line with the photographer and we're standing there just casually talking. He didn't even seem nervous. Like he was just like normal conversation with me. We get up to get our picture done and I put my hand on his chest to pose and I just feel his heart pounding out of his chest like like heart attack like boom 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 like I would have thought there was something like medically wrong with him if 
if I didn't kind of already have a hunch of what was happening, but his heart was just alarmingly fast and pounding as hard as it could. And I don't know, like I just kind of froze up like, oh my gosh, like this is going to happen right now. And um, she took a couple pictures and then he was like, can you take one more? And she was like, yeah, absolutely. And she puts her camera back up and I feel him kind of like pull away from me and he reaches behind his back into his pocket. And everything kind of like went in slow motion. Like everything around us went very quiet. Like it's like I zoned in on him and all the sound went away. It was the weirdest experience. And then the ring box comes out and he kneels and I'm like almost like five seconds behind, like process wise. Like I'm not even like understanding what's happening. Like, cause even though I had a hunch about this, when it happens, you're just not prepared. Like I wasn't prepared. I had a whole like, oh, I'm gonna, like I know how I'm gonna react. And I didn't know how I was gonna react. I was like completely at the mercy of my own heart at that moment. Like everything just was like emotion. Like my emotion just took over and um, you know, he said to me, we've been together for five years and I, you know, want you to be with me. Like, will you marry me? And it was very short and sweet because like we were in front of the castle with this massive crowd around us, which I was not aware of at that moment. And um, I ugly cried. We have pictures of that, of me ugly crying. And then I like through my ugly crying said yes. And um, he stood up and like put the ring on my hand and then when we hugged we like went to like hug each other and kiss um, And this whole time the photographer is like snapping pictures like rapid fire And as soon as we started kissing like I just everything comes back and I hear like the crowd cheering and Screaming congratulations and I then realized how many people were around us because it was a lot <laughs> It was a lot of people there um, and then we kind of walked away, the photographer congratulated us and we walked away by ourselves off to the side and I realized like I blacked out for so much of that moment, like I couldn't even remember, like it was an instantaneous like, whoa, like I can't even remember what just happened, it was crazy. Similar to like, I, I think about when I was a cheerleader back in high school and we did competitions or when I was younger and you like black out, like you don't remember doing your routine. It was like that. It was a very similar situation where I just couldn't remember it all of a sudden. So I'm so glad we have pictures because it's a blur. It really is. I was in so much shock. I didn't even know what to say afterward. He's telling me about the sizer. He's like telling me the story of how the ring like didn't come in and he's like, we're gonna get it. He goes, it came in the day after we left. And I was like, of course it did. So we made a plan. We were gonna go get it when we got home. We went and called our parents and I was just like in complete and utter shock like the rest of the day and the rest of the trip to be frank. Like it just didn't sink in. It really hasn't sunk in yet. Um, we're actually going to see our first venue today after I make this video and um, I think that might be when it sets in because I have been dreaming of marrying Brandon for so long. I've been mentally planning to marry Brandon and like what I want and what I envision for us and now I get to do it and it's just like surreal to me um, and so exciting and happy and I'm just really glad we're at this stage because I've known him since I was 11 and it's just it's been so many years of us preparing for this and I think we're really ready and I'm very excited about it so um, yeah that is our proposal story and um, I'm gonna put pictures in, or I probably already have, as I was telling this. Um, oh, the pictures came out really cool, and I love seeing the crowd's reactions around us, and it was just like such a crazy moment. I'm going to show you guys my ring, then um, I'll tell you guys a little bit about what is to come on this channel. All right, guys, this is my ring, and it's so sparkly, like in the light, oh my goodness. I really love it because I wanted a thin, really delicate band like this. Um, and then as you can see, it's a halo. There's a very thin halo around that center stone and it's like a cushion cut and it's like exactly what I wanted. So I'm really, really excited. And I'm thinking for my wedding band, I want um, a more ornate rose gold wedding band, um, but we're not really there yet. But yeah, I am like a huge, sorry, my nails are like really bad. I took my acrylics off. Um, but I'm like a huge rose gold person and I knew I wanted at least some part of my ring to be rose gold. 
Um, and then the, the setting part for the diamond is actually a white gold because we were told that that makes a stone stand out more. I just love it. <laughs> I just absolutely love it. So for this channel, my plan is to sprinkle in some wedding videos here and there. I'm not gonna become like a wedding planning exclusive channel or anything like that. I wanna just do some like, you know, maybe vlogging when I go get my dress or something. But the thing is, is that Brandon watches my YouTube stuff, so I don't want him seeing anything. Uh, so I'm gonna have to be very careful, um, but I'm gonna, you know, try and vlog my bridal shower when that comes and just maybe like, little odds and ends things that we're planning. Maybe I want to show you guys. So I'm going to try and do content like that. And uh, we do want to have a wedding video made. We're looking into the price for that right now. So if that happens, I'm 100% going to like try and post that for you guys or like link it somewhere so you guys can see it because I'm really excited and I really want to have a video made of the day. Yeah, so that's gonna be like upcoming. I also have some stuff planned out in my content calendar for this channel. There will be more coming here if you're subscribed to me here and if you are interested in seeing our vacation stuff again, go subscribe to Millennial Cruiser. It's a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun making those vlogs. Uh, so that will be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.